All right, guys, so I've had trouble. I'm starting to take out the valve springs and seals and retainers and this and that. Uh, take out all that stuff, and then I struggled on taking the seals out. They're on pretty tight. I thought I could just pull them off. I was gonna, gonna try it. And then I came across a couple videos that you should heat up the seals with a torch to get the studs off the head that I stripped. I went and got a new wrench. They didn't have a deep socket that was deep enough, so I went up. They said to use this crow's foot wrench. So, so I went ahead and grabbed one of these guys. Hopefully that works. And then this is like the best I can get from what they had. They were trying to find something at Napa, but they said I had more of a curve and a rounded edge like that. And uh, the guy at the machine shop said, if this doesn't work, I can borrow a tool that he made which is a lot. It's supposed to grab the bottom of the valve seal and just yank it up. And then I grabbed this lighter, couldn't find a torch. Fred Myers quit selling torches, so that was weird. So I went and got this lighter to try this. If that doesn't work, I'll grab a torch. But right now I'm really focused on trying to get that. Uh, let me show you. So right now I'm going to be focused on trying to get off this guy, which is stripped out from the last video you can see. So hopefully this works on that. And then I went and tried to attack that stem seal down there. You can see right there. And underneath those stem seals, you have this little piece right here, this bottom edge, which the guy made grabs below that and then you yank it off. So if this doesn't work, the lighter is gonna heat up that rubber inside there. And it should melt it, make it a little more wiggly and then they should pull off pretty easily. So if that doesn't work, I'll go down to Napa and rent that tool from that guy. It's his own personal thing he made. So yeah, here I go. Continue and try to get all these swapped out. All right, it's stripped out pretty good now. This bad boy is not coming off. If you guys have any tips, I'm gonna continue trying to find ways to get this off, but if I post this video and I still haven't gotten this off, let me know what I should do to get this bad boy off. I already ordered two of these to replace them. That should be here pretty soon. All right, we are successful. I honestly thought those guides were a lot thinner. It's pretty damn thick. So I heated this up for like maybe a minute. I was able to pull this bad boy off. Not too shabby. So I'm gonna clean that up and then move on, but still I gotta get this stuff off so I can get the rest of these out of here. But now I know I don't need a torch and I could just use this little lighter. If that fluid lasts long enough, I might need to get two of those. I should have bought two of those. But damn, pretty cool. seats the new springs these are a lot beefier step towards the stem right there this is just a I guess one step and that's a two step so for the springs I wonder if it matters what side they got to sit on I don't think so they look the same and 
they're gonna sit in there like so. But I gotta put that seal back on there. Cool. Progress, baby, let's keep it going. All right, so the skunk two ones I ordered are the orange ones over here and the blue and brown are the ones that came with the, uh, this guy that removes the springs. And that brown one looks a little faded, like it's a little dusty. And this one's a lot newer looking and shinier. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use the ones I got from Skunk 2. I don't think the color really matters, but it's supposed to be uh, exhaust and intake for these. Uh, but this blue one looks pretty decent. So uh, I think I'm gonna rock with all of them. I don't know what color these are in here on the intake side. But once we get there, we'll see. And then I'll be using the skunk two on both sides just so I know I, I got the, the good ones. So you can see how much duller that one is compared to this orange one. Just dustier looking. This one looks a lot newer, so I'm gonna use this. And then probably use that for the intake side just so it kinda, I don't know, looks better. But if not, Skunk 2 is worth it. So I did see a trick that people use a, a 10 millimeter or 11 to insert the seal and they were able to press it down. But this also fits on the magnet, so I'm gonna try this out and see how that works. You should feel a little snap when that goes on all the way. Flashlight, flashlight. Is it seated? I don't know. I don't think it is. Well, you can see the the size of the hole though. That was a lot wider. Hopefully, I was given the right ones. The hole on the left is a lot wider than the right. interesting unless they stretch out after a while all right I'm gonna try the uh, 10 millimeter trick oh yeah a lot easier heat it up pops right off I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and pop these valves in here and then I'll uh, I'll have to order some of the lapping compound oh I should have checked Napa for the lapping compound and then I'll I guess I could do that when I'm done with all of these. So once these are all finished, I'll pop them back out and then relap all these valves. Here's a look with the valves back in. I don't know if those are seated all the way, but I will do double checks on that later on today. But just to get a couple done, I'm pretty sure they're seated all the way down there. But I'm gonna throw these springs and retainers back on. Yeah. Drop these on here. Bell spring titanium retainer. Number one. Number two. Bada bing, bada boom. Here's a look on the difference. Flashlight. There's the old ones and here's the new ones. And then these will sit like that. But I gotta get those peepers in there to hold these down. Alright, just went to Home Depot and grabbed a couple of nuts. I think I should have went for a smaller one so I can have more room on these threads. 
because that's all I have working there for me. So this is basically, these two together should take up all this right here. But for some reason I thought I needed this to be on the nut, but you don't, so. I'm not going back. But hopefully this works. I'm gonna put both these on here, twist them on, and try to pull this bad boy out. All right, the thread pitch was wrong on the, the hardware I got from Home Depot, and they're too big. So I went to another local spot and grabbed these guys. And I'm gonna try to pop this freaking thing off here. Let's try it out. Plan B. Yo, this thing is effed up. Even this is on there. <laughs> oh my god. All right, well, the torch wasn't needed. Got it off with these vice grips. Thank you, God. Oh my lord. I honestly thought I was screwed. Shout out Milwaukee. Love these guys. I'm not gonna lie, I love their stuff. Like, buy one of their little stubby impacts when I start uh, assembling everything. That'll be the next purchase. Look at this son of a bitch. Man, what a pain. All right, so all of the valve springs are out. The only thing left is the valve seals. These ones are done, but I'm gonna wait until I get the lapping compound to bust those guys out so I can replace the valve stems and then lap them bad boys and then move on. So right now, I say this is enough for today. I got all of those springs out and next step is removing the valve seals and I figured out how to do that quickly, so. That'll be easy. Just burn them with a lighter, pull them out with the uh, pliers I got here. This needle nose with the nice little curve at the tip right there, that works fine. And then we'll move on to lapping the valves and installing all the springs. Here's an idea of what the new springs look like. Let me push in that little... Oh, snap, didn't see you there, brother. So that's the springs. And then this was just a little test fit. 
and then the titanium retainers put those on top right there bada bing bada boom cinch them all down again with this tool throw in the keepers and it's done that easy head is finished besides redoing all the seals so that's pretty much it though so one step closer that's all that matters we're good